Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do another what I ate video. This morning, I'm having a delicious egg white chicken sausage and American cheese croissant sandwich. These Jimmy Dean delights are awesome. There's seven smart points for the sandwich and it tastes great. So let me show you the best way to heat these up. So I call this the Lori method because she taught me how to do this. It absolutely makes the perfect sandwich. The bread gets toasty and crispy and everything is cooked perfectly. So take, I basically deconstruct the sandwich and I take the sausage and egg whites and cheese, put them on a tray, set the timer for 15 minutes, bake it at 350 and then after 10 minutes throw the croissants on the tray and they will get thawed and warmed and a little crispy. So I will show you after it's done. So along with my sandwich, I have coffee. I do the Dunkin Shop decaf. I don't drink caffeine, <laughs> surprisingly. I can't take the caffeine. It makes my heart palpitate and um, keeps me up all night. So in my coffee, I put two tablespoons of sugar-free French vanilla for one point and one tablespoon of half and half. I like the creaminess for one smart point. So there is the sandwich. It is buttery and warm and A plus. So I get those at Sam's Club. Uh, works out to less than a dollar a sandwich because 12 comes in the box. So that's definitely one of my favorite at home breakfasts that are quick. All right, it is time for lunch. And today I am going to be trying Tuna again. I haven't eaten tuna in, I don't know, 15 years, but at the meeting when they said it was five ounces or six ounces for one smart point, I was like, all right, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to give it another try. Um, when I scanned this though, this came out uh, two points for the can, but in the tracker, if you look up tuna packed in water, it's six ounces for one smart point. So I'm going to count it as two just to be on the safe side. I don't know if this is different, has a little bit more um, something in it. One tablespoon of light mayo for one point. Six club crackers. I love club crackers for three smart points. Was it six for three? I scanned it, but after I make it, I'll, I'll double confirm. And then um, M and Lori suggested putting cut up pickles in the tuna so I'm gonna try that I don't have dill though I just have these bread and butter ones it's five pickles for one smart point but I won't cut up five I'll probably just have one or two and some cuties on the side so all right let me put this together all right so here is the tuna on crackers and this isn't even all the tuna um Five ounces is a lot of tuna, so, all right, let's see how I like it. All right, so let's do cheers, tuna cheers. All right, it's okay. I wish I had like Greek yogurt so I could have put a little bit more because one tablespoon seems like <laughs> it's okay I was expecting it to be a little better but it's good for a low point lunch, right? All right, bye. Just some more thoughts on tuna. I just had my second to last one. I'm definitely liking it more. I think next time I need to do uh, celery, more pickle, some Dijon mustard, just zhuzh it up a little bit. Um, but overall it was good, so definitely check it out. You get 
You can have six ounces of tuna packed in water for one smart point. So live it up, people. <laughs> Eat that tuna. <laughs> All right, it's time for dinner prep, and it's going to be easy dinner tonight. I'm making these chili lime chicken burgers. Those are only three smart points. Those went down. And then putting it on this flat out. These are cool, like these little um, everything flatbreads that just fold over. Those are three smart points. And can't forget sweet potato fries. Those are five smart, smart points for a serving. So I'll show you that when it's all done. All right, so here is the finished dinner. And we took a Laughing Cow Creamy Light Swiss and put that on the flat out, some lettuce, we'll put some pickles, and that'll do it. This is really awesome. I love how the, I love this folded wrap and the um, lettuce and cucumbers and the Laughing Cow cheese. It just gives it a whole new uh, flavor than the normal um, chicken, grilled chicken um, burgers. Yeah. So it's um, it's awesome. I love it. And um, this was a great idea, putting it all together. Glad you like it, my love. So for 12 smart points, a delicious and healthy burger alternative. All right, it is snack time. I am having this Chobani Simply 100 Greek yogurt. That is three smart points and a one-fourth cup of the Nature's Path Pumpkin Flax Granola. Love it. So I'm ending my day with two smart points left over, and I had a great day. I hope everybody out there had a great day, and stay fit and fabulous. Bye.